I did a video in the past where I um, graded the Picasso Clownfish. Grade A, B, uh, premium Picasso. After doing the video, there was still a bit of confusion on how to grade the clownfish. So this is an updated video on how to grade the clownfish. I will present some diagrams and I will explain it to you um, step by step um, using numbers and using pictures. Here you have a peculiar clownfish. Nothing spectacular on this pattern. Stripes are just up and down. It's just orange followed by white, orange, white, orange. The patterns are just smooth up and down. It's not even exaggerated. The pecula becomes Picasso when the patterns become exaggerated. I say exaggerated, by that I mean that the white stripes are no longer just up and down stripes. The white stripes actually bleed into the orange stripes just like a painter's brush. You see where I'm going with this. The Picasso clownfish is named after the famous Spanish artist Pablo Picasso. It was like Pablo Picasso took a paintbrush and painted on a clownfish. Now let's just talk about grading. How do we grade the Picasso clownfish? Let me start by numbering the stripes. Stripe 1 the white stripe closest to the head. Stripe 2, the white stripe in the middle of the body. Stripe 3, the stripe closest to the tail end. Now let's flip the fish to the other side so that the fish is facing the right side. Stripe 4, closest to the head. Stripe 5, middle of the body. And finishing it off, stripe 6, towards the end of the tail. So to recap, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's put the Picasso diagram back up. There are three simple rules to grading the Picasso. Rule number one, the Picasso clownfish gets a grade B if two or less white stripes are connected. Rule number two, the Picasso clownfish gets a grade A if three or more white stripes are connected. Rule number three, Picasso gets a premium grade if it is a grade A and also other special characteristics like the boldness of its boundaries, its edges, or fractured pieces of the stripes, whether it's orange or black. Now that you know the rules, let's grade some Picasso. I'm going to bring in Tarek to help me out. Hello, Tarek. Hi. Are you ready for this? Yes. Let's do this. This Picasso has exaggerated lines. Stripes 1 and stripes 2 are connected. Tarek, what grade would you give this Picasso? Grade B. Good job, Tarek. Let's move on to the next one. This Picasso has exaggerated lines and its stripes on 2 and 3 are connected. What grade does this one deserve? Grade B. Good job. Okay, Tarek, you want some more? Yes, give me more. Okay, this Picasso has exaggerated lines. Stripes 4, 5, and 6 are connected. Tricky one, but I know you can do it. What grade would you give this clownfish? Grade A. How do you know that? Good job. All right, Tarek, are you ready for a more challenging one? Yes, give it to me. Okay, last but not least, and this is a very, very tricky one. It's pretty hard, so think about it, okay? Let's, let's do this one here. This Picasso has exaggerated lines and patterns. Stripes number four, five, and six are connected. Its design is bold with black borders, and it has spots. Tell me, Tarek. What grade would you give this? Premium. How do you know? You must be a smart kid. Good job. Class is dismissed and unfortunately, Tarek has to go home. Goodbye, Tarek. Bye. So let's recap. Pecula. Picasso. Picasso grade B. Picasso grade A. 
Picasso Premium. I hope this classroom lesson on grading the Picasso was helpful. Be sure to leave a comment. If I missed out anything, be sure to correct me. And as always, thank you for watching.